Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, and today this video is gonna be straight up vlogified. We're gonna get so vlogged that the vlog will be. We're gonna get vloggy with it. Get vloggy with it. There's a lot going on. All right, so we're in the middle of August, and normally for, for people who don't live in the climate of the Wisconsin land, <laughs> that's still summer. Well, it is still summer kind of here, but real fast, fall and winter get intermingled. Really fast. We've had snow like crazy that went all the way till when this year, this past year? Mid-April. Yeah. So we haven't had a very long summer. No. So it is time to start getting everything ready for the winter and it's kind of weird, a little surreal. You know, you're chopping wood, you're putting up hay, you're making sure all the buildings are ready to go for the animals. Yep. And uh, well, there's also a lot of fun that we're gonna do, but we work first, work first. Homeschool day two. Three. Oh, it's time, Wednesday. time flies when you're having fun, right Grace? Right, right. Well, where are we at? There's a whole lot of stuff here on the table. Well, uh, Ruth has just finished her math. Yes. Uh, we did Bible already, and we do that first. And so she's getting ready to do her reading. Oh, can you read some for us, Ruth? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Abel loves God. He loves... Mm -mm. Oh. Oh. Obeyed. Obeyed God. He um, wanted wanted to give the fairy, fairy something. Sound that one out. B. 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 E. E. S. T. Best. Good. Nice job, okay. Ruthie. To the reading God. rock star. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's she's gonna keep going. There was all, there was one more word in it. Oh, list. sorry. <laughs> God, the he wanted to give the very best to God. Mm -hmm. right? That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. What do you say, Grace? What's the word? <laughs> School. Bird. Bird is the word. Now, one concern we have here with this particular barn, this particular area, is it's really long. It's a couple hundred feet long. Uh, and one side of the barn is open. And the reason it is open is because that milking parlor, I think it was a milking parlor in, in back in the day, uh, there's a lot of structural issues that are wrong. There's a door on either side of it. And um, also the, the roof, that's what we fixed temporarily to prop it up uh, last year. And so this year we're still in the same financial situation where we can't really, pro you know, we can't get it fixed truly. So we're just kind of, you know, keeping everything propped up and we're trying to get everything as dry as we can. But when it gets cold out here, when it's negative 20, negative 30, the wind comes whipping through this side because that's west. And it comes whipping through this side. And so what we've done is we got a, um, a really big, it's one of those actually, uh, the, the billboard signs out on the uh, interstates. And it's a thick, thick vinyl. We got it from the Don. And if you're watching Don, thank you. Uh, but we're using it not as a, a backdrop for a movie, but so that it'll keep that wind from whipping through here. And we just gotta, you know, fasten it down in a few spots, but it is super handy and super effective to keep out a lot of wind that will make this place unbearable if we can't, you know, keep it a little bit not so windy and not so coldy. Meanwhile, over in the kitchen, Claire has got something going on here. Is, are you just really hungry? I'm making applesauce. You're making applesauce? Yeah. That would likely explain the apples. So where'd you get them from? I got them from my special friend's house. A special his, friend? And his family. And what's the plan there? I'm going to core them. I'm not going to peel them because uh, we'll No, no, it. I meant with the special friend. What do you mean, what's the plan? I don't, nothing. <laughs> nothing is the plan. That's the correct plan, right? I guess. Now our hay, uh, this is one thing that we have to be very, very vigilant about is making sure that we've got enough quality hay on hand for all the animals and especially Macy, who's our milk cow, uh, because if she doesn't have the good nutrition, the, the minerals and all the stuff that she needs, she'll drop down and milk like crazy. And we are not ready for her to uh, have a time of break yet in the milk. That's coming up. 
but we're gonna need at least three, maybe even four times the amount of hay we have. So it's time for us to hit Craigslist, ask the farmers around who's got it, who's doing what, because this is sadly nowhere near enough. And Hope is over here at her own little computer station. And you are learning what? About classifying animals and invertebrates and vertebrates and Zoology. all that jazz. Zoology? Yeah. You've got quite the uh, plethora of beasties here. What's your favorite beast? I don't know. I know what it is. What? A horse. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That six foot feeder allows 24 birds to eat at one time when they want to. That's fantastic. That one over there doesn't want to eat at the moment. But these guys, look at that. There's plenty of space for all of them. Now, if we had more birds, we'd have to have another feeder. But we have 24 birds, and they're all eating at the same time. Yes, I know. I get it. So we have a goat that is very unruly. She won't stand very nicely when we're milking her. And we are, so we have to tie down her feet. Um, and we are also trying to wean her kids, her babies, off of her. So the way we're doing that is by using some medical tape. Now this medical tape is not the paper kind. The paper kind, when it gets wet, it comes right off really easily. Um, this is the fabric kind. Um, it does not hurt when we take it off because we use some water to soften it up some and then pulls it off, we pull it off gently. But I wanted to show you how we do this. So we take a strip of tape about six inches long, depending on the length of your, the teats of your goat. Hers are really short. Um, okay, sweet pea, you're gonna have to work with me here. <laughs> so I take the strip of tape while I'm holding her hawk because she'll just jump around like this. So I hold her leg so that she can't jump around. So I'm gonna take this tape and I'm gonna very carefully place it on one side of the teat as I flatten the teat so that it stretches out the tape. Can you see that, Hope? Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So then I'm going to fold it over, giving it a little slack underneath, and I'm gonna do the same thing, flattening out the teat. No, 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 hold still. It's difficult to do with one hand. If you had two people helping you, this would be way better. So there's one side. Now I'm going to make an X over the teat so that the whole thing is covered. Hold still, sister. My goodness. All right, one more piece of tape. About six inches long. Oh, hold on, sister, hold on. She is so antsy. All right. And then we flatten that out, just like that, because when, uh, when the teat fills up, we want to make sure that it, there's enough room for the milk to fill up into the teat. And we are done. That's all that's got to get done. Um, I used to put one around here, but if you're not careful, it can uh, be too tight when the udder and the teat fill up. So, hope this helps you and your goats when you're weaning them.